since the NHS was established over 70 years ago, I don't think it's faced as many challenges ever before. We have a growing population, we have new technologies, which is a good thing, but people are aging, living longer, and with the financial cutbacks, they're probably suffering more ill health. So we have a greater demand for services. Financially, we've probably had a real terms cut for the last eight to 10 years. That's impacting. And actually, we've become more disjointed than ever before. I got involved with uh, Breaking Barriers Limited and became co-chairman um, for a particular reason, because I didn't want to just join another think tank. Think tanks are important, they play a valuable role uh, in terms of research and policy. But I wanted to be engaged with a, an organisation that did good academic rigour and research, had good policy ideas and links, but actually they ultimately produced some practical outcomes, actually worked with a range of stakeholders across the piece. And most importantly, I wanted the service user to be at the heart of everything we did. So Breaking Barriers Limited to me is a little bit more than a think tank. It's a very uh, practical delivery organisation works with others to come up with solutions. Uh, I've been across the country and seen lots of old Victorian buildings that are not fit for purpose for a modern 21st century healthcare system. If we take the estates and develop in, in various different ways, uh, I think they play a crucial role in terms of the future of, of the NHS and social care. For me, success in a year's time for breaking barriers would look like two or three practical projects that have brought the public-private partnership together, that have brought patients and users together, that has looked at the barriers and the silos, that's created an effective, efficient new system or developed it further to deliver better healthcare in a particular area, but it's there up and running or certainly on the way to up and running.